Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Jane and my husband Mike is usually behind the camera but he does all the editing. And we're British, early retirees, debt and mortgage free and living a thrifty, frugal and money saving life on a super tight budget here in Brittany in northwest France. And every Sunday we share an aspect of our private life, something that we've done to save money. Now this week I've got a shopping haul to share with you and I don't usually shop the last week of the month but food prices are so crazy that I am scanning every publicity that there is and if I see some absolute totally genuine offers then I go and get them and that's what I did and that's what I'm going to share with you. Today we spent 142 euros which is 154 US dollars, 125 UK pounds, 209 Canadian dollars, 247 New Zealand dollars, and 230 Australian dollars. I went to was Lidl and I got myself a big leg of lamb that's our Easter treat our big roast meal for Easter day and we got that that was reduced down to 9.99 a kilo um, and we got that therefore for 22.50 that's enough meat there to feed us for a week and it's like I said, it's a treat. We wouldn't normally buy something so expensive. And it is imported New Zealand lamb. Then we rifled through the reduced section and we got some minced beef. And each of the packs here that you can see here, that's 350 grams. It's enough for the two of us for one meal. And it's outrageously expensive. Even reduced, it was 342. But the savings we made today were really good. The savings on my receipt here say that we saved 12.62 today. And you know, these are all gonna go in the freezer and this is our treat for Easter. The next supermarket that we went into was Netto. Let's go through what we've got from Netto. We have got some roast chicken rillette, which is kind of like a pate, and you have it on toast, and it's quite good. We have it for lunch, maybe with some soup. And then we've got creme fraiche, and next we bought marmalade. Let's get increasingly expensive. That's gone up to one fifteen now. Uh, this is a really, really good way of stretching out a budget for six hundred grams in here. I have got celeriac, carrots and leeks all chopped into little bits. It's really, really good to go in things like a bolognese sauce or meat sauce. Um, these are super. This is a rissole. So this is potatoes ready to go into the oven. And what I do with this is in a pan, I finely chop onions. I add some of these potatoes. I cook them and then I might add in some of the vegetables and I will add egg to that and then it'll be like a, like an omelette. So next I've got 10 slices of ham and you can see it's, it's really nice ham. It's, it's good. And then I've got, these were, these were quite a good offer today. This is 20 chipolata pork sausages and it's all meat and they're really good. Uh, next thing we saw this, and this, this has come down in price. So these are actually beef burgers. And what's funny about these is they're like a lozenge shape because obviously the French eat them in a baguette. And that was 8.23 for those. And 8.23, pure beef, and that's a kilo. I thought that was quite good. This is something to stick into the pantry. It's basically chicken and mushrooms in a white wine sauce. It's very handy to just eat with some vegetables or just stick in a pie. This is another store cupboard. And I always try and put 10% of my supermarket budget in the store cupboard. This is bolognese sauce. 
This is ready to eat. So basically we cook some pasta, we warm up the bolognese sauce, that's dinner. Another store cupboard staple we've got here, we've got uh, salad dressing and that's mustard. And that was 85, that was on offer today. And then we've got a litre of tomato and basil soup at 98. You know, when you don't want to cook dinner, we just have a bowl of soup, we might have some cheese on toast and that's fine. More store cupboard putaways here. We've got long life pate here. So it's basically just a pork pate and they, they last for years and years and they get put in the cupboard. So you can see I've got a few store cupboard staples here. Next up, we've got four extra large size burger buns. They were 98. These are getting more expensive all the time. And then we've got tomatoes. We've got those little cherry tomatoes, 99. Uh, we've got an aubergine, was 124, but as you can see, it's huge. It's huge. We've got a net of garlic, and they were 199 each. Not bad, not a bad price. We've got a kilo and a half bag of potatoes here, and they were 99 a bag. They were a good buy. And then pears. Pears are really good here. So you can see in there, the pears are in their little cardboard box, and that was 165 for a kilo. Last of all, we went to the supermarket called Leclerc, and let's go through what we've got. We bought two of the 10 packs of milk because they were on super reduction and they were only 80 cents. They're normally 109. So that was, that was a really good price today. Then butter. Um, this is one I always wish I, bought, I had a big freezer because I'd have bought more. Butter was on super reductions today. Now normally 500 grams of butter is around five euros at the moment, if not over five euros. So at the moment, so we've got President for 340 for that pack, so 170 each. And these were great. So these were 204 with each one of them had a 50 cents off uh, reduction ticket, which the lady scanned, which brought them down to 154. So I don't normally get through eight packs of butter, but these are gonna go in the fridge. My husband's laughing at my buying all this butter here. He thinks I'm mad. Then we've got my cleaning solution. This is Savon de Marseille. If you were to look in your country, wherever you live, it's probably a general purpose cleaning liquid that you can put in a spray bottle. I dilute it 50-50, I clean everything with it. And I put a cap full of this in a bucket and I clean the floor as well. So good, cheap, all purpose cleaner. I've then got washing up liquid for 138. Oh, this pains me paying these. These are so expensive. 10 dustbin liners, 412. Ouchie, ouchie, ouchie. Then I've got bread, 125. This is really expensive here. People in the UK, I have to say this to you, UK bread is that size. French bread is half the size, that's quite expensive. And then I've got washing up sponges, 102. These last me absolutely forever. Then let's go back here. Uh, we've got 12 pouches of dog food was 4.56. The supermarket's own brand mayonnaise, which we find perfectly acceptable, 135 a jar. That's gone up. They used to be like 109. Oh, it's just gone up, hasn't it? We've got the very controversial. Americans lose the, lose their cool over this sometimes and go, oh, I've not seen that in years. We've got the toilet rolls now. They're 157 a go, and they are they are compact, so they are the equivalent of. 12 regular toilet rolls. That's 157. We got a big kilo pack of Toulouse sausages. And again, these are, I think in times like this, when the meat is so expensive, we're either looking for discounted meat or we are looking for sausages because nothing else was really on discount in there today, was it Mike? The, no. the meat was really expensive, but, but they're great. We actually need one each of those for a meal. So you can see there, that's three meals for us. 
And this was on offer today and I use this a lot in my cooking. If I make a cheese sauce, if I put cheese in anything, I use this hard Italian cheese. It's, it, I find it really good. And this was on offer at 139 a pack. Thank you so much for dropping by and watching our video today and we really hope that you enjoyed it and if you did could you hit the like button we love all of your comments and we read every single one of them maybe you're having to do things very differently to find those food bargains because i'll tell you something they are getting increasingly difficult to find thank you so much for watching we'll see you again soon bye